Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well, we've got a little scroll effect for you today. If you look at the white space below the hero image there, if I roll down, we've got a couple of modules that are going to slide in, fade in, and end up right there. And if we scroll down, they'll disappear again. Really easy to do, no coding for this today. We're using the inbuilt scroll features of the fantastic Divi theme. So let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do is enable the visual builder so we can build on the front end. Okay, well let's get rid of this row here. In fact, let's get rid of this whole section right here. And I'll duplicate this section. All I've got here is a section with a row with three columns in it. I've got three blurb modules and this will work on any module you want to use it on. But for expediency today, I'm just going to use these three blurb modules we've got here. Okay, well let's go into our first one here and fix it how we want it. So basically we don't want to see anything when it's down here and when we roll up, we want it to slide in and appear. So let's go into the module itself. We're going to go over to advanced, down to scroll effects. And we've got several to choose from. We've got vertical motion, don't want that. Do want horizontal motion, so I'm going to ena enable that with a little switch down below. So let's put it down to the bottom and see what we got. Okay, that's the wrong way for a start. I want it to be start from over here somewhere. So let's give it a negative value. Let's say negative 5, minus 5. Okay, that pulls it. That's not quite enough. We'll keep going down till we get where we want to go. Yeah, we'll start from somewhere like that. Six point, minus 6.5 over there. And I also, also want it to be blurred a little bit when it comes in there. So if we go up here, we've got a blur right at the end there. And for the blur, I'm going to hit Enable Blur. I want it to be sort of pretty much blurred out when it's there. Maybe even a bit more than 10 pixels. See, the more pixel value, the more blurred it gets over there. That's fine. Let's leave it 20 pixels. So it's going to start there blurred. It's going to move in. But I really don't want it to be fully unblurred till we get up the top here. So let's give it... Let me put these two together and we'll say 70% up here. So we'll drag it up to 70. And then we'll say zero picks. So when it's up here, it's fully visible. But when it's up here, I also want it to be in the correct position. So let's go back into our horizontal motion. And let's have a look here. So I only want it to be zero at 70%. So again, I'm going to drag this up to 70%. And I'm going to make it zero at the top as well. Adjust these how you want, obviously. So it's going to be blurred out. And then it's going to be fully, fully visible when it gets to about there, which is fine. Great. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make all of these the same now and we'll just adjust them. It's the quickest way of doing this, I find. So let's save this. I'm going to right click on the little module here, right click and say extend module styles or extend blurb styles. I want to extend them to the rest of this row. I could do this whole page and get those down below as well or this section. But I just want to do this row. Great, so they've all got the same one now, but the middle one, I want to change this slightly because I don't want it moving horizontally. I'm just going to have this one scale in. So if we go into that middle one, to the advanced again, scroll effects. I'm going to turn off the horizontal motion. I'm just going to stay where it is. But I want it to scale using this little arrow scaling up and down. It means get bigger or smaller. So I need to enable this by turning that switch on. And I want it to start off maybe sort of 20% when we're down the bottom. 
when we're down the bottom as you can see it's sort of 20 percent we still got that blur effect which i'm going to leave on there and then everything else is sort of coming in at 70 percent so i use that so at 70 percent again i'm going to move this up to 70 percent i'm going to have it reach its full size there we go fantastic so we've got the one on the left working, the one in the middle doing what we want it to do, scaling in. The one on the right is doing the opposite of what we want it to do. So we just need to reverse the controls on that one. So let's save this. We'll go into our third one now. Over to advanced. Let's move this out of the way so we can see it when we scroll it down. And the scroll effects, we really don't need to change much here. We just got to go into our horizontal and make these the opposite. So we've got to do positive 6.5. So that'll be just 6.5. Let's have a look at that now. There we go. That's pretty much doing just about everything we want. Let's save that there. So middle one's scaling and fading in or blurring in. Right one's coming in from the right, left one's coming in from the left. The only other thing I'm going to do to this, I'm going to take the whole row. When it gets to about here, I don't want to see anything at all. So I'm going to do a fade on the whole row. Still using the scroll effects. So let's go into the green tab for the row. Again, we'll go over to advanced and you can do this on sections, rows and modules. I'm going to go to the scroll effects. I'm going to have fade. I'm going to enable fading in and out. Let's put it down at the bottom. So really, I see there's the top of the site. I don't want to see anything till it gets to about here, I suppose. So put it where we want it and let's drag viewport bottom up until these things disappear. There we go. It's about 30%. So we'll see nothing until that gets up to about 30%. Right there. Great. So I think that's going to do it. So let's save this. We'll save the page changes. Save draft or publish. And exit the visual builder. Okay, let's go on down and we should see those modules slide and fade in and scale in. There we go, they're starting to fade in right there. Sliding in and they're perfectly visible at 70% right there. Roll on down, they're going to slide back out again. So there you go guys, there's how to create fade in, slide in, blur in, scroll effect using the Fantastic Divi theme. Like I say, no coding for this today, it's all with the inbuilt features of the Fantastic Divi theme. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.